two for one swap here. And and a lot of people were saying, oh, it's not a clear winner of this trade. But no, 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 no. That's just incorrect. There's a clear winner in this trade. And it's obvious. One team is relieved. One fan base should be relieved. And the other fan base should still be a little iffy and don't know if it's going to work. And I say this because the New York Knicks right now, after trading for Carl Anthony Towns, bro, this helps them so much more as a team because Carl Anthony Towns is going to complement everybody on that team so much more than what DiVincenzo and Julius Randle will do for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the main reason I say this is because one Carl Anthony Towns can shoot the ball. Julius Randle cannot shoot the ball. We're looking at a 31% three-point shooter here and a guy who chucks it at the rim and barely gives any effort when he's on the floor. I know Carl Anthony Towns has some shaky moments where he's bad on defense or he might be exhausted, but best believe, from what we've seen in the playoffs this last run that he had, he gave effort, and Demi, he showed up big when he had his energy. So I got to give credit to Carl Anthony Towns here, but above all of that, in the skill level of, oh, this guy can shoot, this guy can't shoot, the main thing here is, obviously, the Knicks have another person to run their offense through. They don't have to give the ball to Jalen Brunson every play and let him go to work and score. Now they can say, Cat, post up, get down on the block and score for us. Or we can run a play and run the offense through Carl Anthony Towns instead of trying to, you know, scramble and, and pick and roll for Jalen Brunson for four quarters. Because it's not going to work. It did help them get all the way to the east. It helped them get to the second round and have some success. But above all, it's not useful. It's, 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 it's hard to maintain. It's rough. Julius Randle, I get, you know, he can score. He can get to the cup. And, you know, he's, he brings a veteran presence because he's been in the league for a minute, as some people have been saying. But above all, bro, the guy is not, the guy is not offensively sound, bro. I'm sorry. Julius Randle's not offensively sound uh, sometimes and, and on the defensive end too from what we see on the defensive end it, he's not necessarily defensive sound and my main concern here for the Timberwolves is obviously you got Anthony Edwards but you get rid of his co-partner in Carl Anthony Towns and bring in a guy who can't shoot who can't spread the floor and you still have Gobert there who's going to clog up the paint even more so now you got uh, a Gobert and Julius Randle two guys who can't shoot the ball at all on the floor at the same time Hell no. Absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous to think about that they're going to have these guys. And hopefully that's not the case because they got Nas Reed. And Nas Reed can't shoot. He can spread the floor. Um, We've seen him go crazy in the playoffs as well. So hopefully that's not the game plan that they decide to go with Rudy Gobert and Julius Randle on the floor at the same time. Because that's just going to be nasty. Don't nobody want to see that. What I do like about the Timberwolves trade and picking up DiVincenzo is... The fact that they have DiVincenzo there. So now he's a guy who can create more offense for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Not necessarily a guy who you can run the offense through, but we know DiVincenzo is going to play both sides of the ball. He's going to hustle. He's going to play defense. He's going to score. He can knock down threes. That's another three-point shooter that you have on that team. DiVincenzo, he lit it up. Don't forget, in the playoffs, he lit it up. He helped the Knicks out of some clutch situations that helped them get the win in that series against the Philadelphia 76ers. So you got to give DiVincenzo his credit. And I like that aspect for the Timberwolves of bringing in another shooter and another guy who's going to play lockdown defense because that was really like the identity of the Minnesota Timberwolves last year is we knew they were a defensive team. Those guys sat down and they locked up whoever was in front of them, whether it was Anthony Edwards himself playing defense, whether it was Jaden McDaniels playing defense, whether it was Nas Reed, Rudy Gobert, and now you got DiVincenzo added to the mix. Like, uh, uh, yeah, that, this is about to be a definitely defensive sound team, and they're still going to be able to hold that identity. But the only thing is like, man, the – like Carl Anthony Towns is a huge piece there and he helped out a lot when you talk about having trees down low and protecting the rim and just playing defense when he does have energy so it's gonna be a good mix up above all man it's it's we gotta see how it plays out I think sometimes in the off season or the very early stages of the season we get so caught up in, oh, they got this name, this name, this name, this name, this name, and, and we haven't seen it work out. So hypothetically, I assume, you know, the Knicks have won this trade because you bring Carl Anthony Towns. I think he can still spread the floor and, you know, he's another guy you can run the offense through. But, I mean, you got to consider 
health. Obviously, health is a thing. They're still missing Mitchell Robinson, a guy who's going to be huge for the Knicks as well. And Mitchell Robinson can, I mean, he can play defense too. He can, I mean, he grabs hella boards and all of that stuff. So, you know, you get, you think about this stuff. They added M- Mikael Bridges and the Knicks, they got a good little surrounding over there. So you have to consider those different things and those different elements. But we, I mean, health is going to be the ultimate factor here. Um, OG and Anobi, OG and Anobi is still there, and uh, Mikael Bridges, Josh Hart. You got some guys on this team that 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 match up pretty well with bringing Carl Anthony Towns. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes for them. Um, I think right off the bat, though, I'm I'm going uh, Knicks win this trade. Knicks win this trade. You you have. A solidified one, two, three, four. Like you have a solidified roster. I'm still a little concerned about the bench support, but I think a, when people say Timberwolves has won this trade, Timberwolves is already in a little bit better condition than what we've seen from the Knicks anyway. Which why, which is why it may seem like they really won this trade. But I don't think this is a bad trade on either end. It's good. I was a little upset when Cat got traded because I did think. Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns was a great dynamic duo, but clearly they wanted more shooting. They wanted another perimeter defender, but we'll see.